lot of people in this world search endlessly for some complex magical formula to understand why some people are successful and why others are not but it really just boils down to this concept of productivity that you're going to apply the most amount of effort to the best of your ability in the a lot of time that you have and all successful people realize that time is the most precious commodity that's out there it's the one thing that you can't buy or ever buy back so these successful people realize that they have and a lot of time to perform a given task so that they have to give it their absolute all to doing that task because going through the motions is the most disadvantageous thing that you can do that often when you do something wrong the first time you have to go back and do it right the second time whereas if you did it right the first time you never have to do it again and all successful people realize that that they're going to give it their absolute all and put in their heart and soul to any task that they do no matter how small or how large it is that they're going to be the best person that they can be while they're doing it that they're going to do it right and the major difference is that the successful people do every single task right while as the people who are not successful do it wrong you know you could look at these professional bodybuilders Jay Cutler Ronnie Coleman Dexter Jackson, Flex Wheeler, Sean Ray, Dorian Yates, Arnold Schwarzenegger. These guys are the best in their sport. And a lot of people just disregard it as they had the genetics to be there or they'll play the steroid card and say that they cheated to get to where they were and that's the difference between the successful people from those who are not you know a lot of people think that what they do in life is beneficial and then they get frustrated when they don't see the results that they want that other people are getting you know you could say to yourself oh i went to the gym today so i'm better off because of it But the question you have to ask yourself is what did I do in the gym today? You know, what did you do in the gym today and how did you do it? You could complain that you can't build up your calf muscles or you can't get a nice set of abs or you can't burn fat or you can't build muscle and it's your genetics that is preventing you from getting there. But it's really not about the genetics as much as it is about the effort and about doing the activity right. And this transfers throughout all facets of the